Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here, and we're off for more of Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon Reignited. In the last episode, we had a little bit of trouble, as well as a few glitches in Evening Lake. Trying to find the gems as well as getting out of the whale. But before then, we took down Spike with relative ease. We did have a bit of trouble as with that as well, but with the heavy ammunition provided by James Bird, we were fine. And, well, we freed Bentley, which is what we're going to be doing in this episode. But before we hop in... Well, actually, I'll talk about when we hop in. In Evening Lake, prioritise Honey Speedway and Lost Fleet first. And 100% complete them on their first visits if possible. Just saying that right now, but since with Evening Lake, there's a certain thing that will happen when we get to a certain point. I will gladly help you on your quest, Sparrow. But first, I must attend to my young sibling. I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. Why was the camera in the floor? Why is there so many teeny little problems? We only just started the video and the camera was inside the floor. Last episode we didn't get spat we didn't get eaten or spat out by the whale properly. And then the <sighs> I don't know. Bloody annoying, man. But yes, uh, Bentley. Uh, let's cover his controls quick if his little brother isn't going to mention. Which, by the way, he has his own phone in the reunited version. At least he's with the times. Hey, bro. It'd be really cool if you smashed that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. <laughs> cool. Get it? Ice puns. He's all hip while we're all Shakespearean. We're old times. He's the new. And he's even newer now because he's got a phone. Yeah. Going with the controls, we have a single jump. We also have a whack with our usual fire button, which is circle. Holding a square makes us do a turbine with our, um, well, not limited time, but yeah, we can pretty much spin our club super fast. It's literally transparent, which is insane. And that includes his hand. How does that work? I don't know. But that's literally all that Bentley has going for him, really. He's actually quite... Uh, limited in his moveset, but he's got a lot of stuff going for him. Again, only three eggs per level, but 600 gems in order to collect in this level now. So the gems are increasing, but the eggs are the same for a normal um, optional character level, I guess you could call it. Let's go to the controls and move list yet again. Go over here. Yeah, Bentley. Overhead bash, deflection, look, push. You just have to walk into things. His moveset is incredibly basic. And with that, we might as well put our power to the test and smash our way through. Some characters, well, can't get through. Bentley can because of its huge stature. And yeah. Now, you may have also noticed that the camera is in kind of a... Um, oh, wow, I just got an extra line for that. That's cool. You may have noticed that the camera is like in a slight uh, over-the-shoulder view. It's because of Bentley's new design, plus his club is actually like quite big. You won't be able to see much if he was in the middle of the screen. At least with here, you can actually see what's in front of you. Because when you push forward, he walks slightly into the middle of the screen. So it, like, it works. And the camera also doesn't swivel unless you make it. Which is perfect, really. Because you actually get to see what you're doing. I mean, it's a little bit annoying that you can't move it to the opposite side in case if that's a certain thing. So keep that in mind. But we want to be bashing all of these totem poles completely. Smack you as well. Which, you got a quick smash speed, so that's quite cool. You just move a little bit slow on doing so. You want to smash all the Titan Poles because that's actually our skill point for this level. If it's not Frozen Altars, that's actually a level that we got to deal with later. But all the way down here, Bentley's Outpost. Push box of a cliff. I thought it was smash all the Titan Poles. I'm pretty sure it was smash all the Titan Poles. Hang on a sec. Can I smash that from here? No. Can I jump and smash? Nope, because we don't get enough height. And we gravitate to the floor when we do so. Fair enough. Can't walk into that without smashing it, so we have to smash it ourselves. Uh, we're going to do this anyway. Yeah, because they always have gems on top of them. So you want to smash every totem pole you see, because you probably won't see them. Because you can't actually tilt the camera up to look above you while doing this. So that's kind of a problem. If you use your spin move to deflect the snowball into the gong, I bet we can make the roof cave in. Or, you know, I could just hit the thing itself. But I would lose my club over that. Yeah, he doesn't actually tell you the, um, 
controls, which is kind of weird. I guess he, he's so cool that he just expects us to know what we're doing. But since Bentley's moveset is very basic anyway, this is basically just training level for you. I mean, that's how most of these... <laughs> Wait, didn't we not already have a dragon called Brian? Because I made a Stewie reference? Oh yes, Brian. Pretty sure. But I'm not going to find that out now because the dragons don't... The dragon eggs don't have their names. Well, the dragons do. I already made that joke, so... Yeah, and we can smash these gongs by ourselves if we want to. But yeah, um, I think we're going to talk to us again in a minute. It took me forever to train those seals to throw snowballs. Now they've gone and turned on me. Don't worry, I'll bounce them back. Oh, again, my movement is messed up after I talked to someone. I was pushing left, I was going right. What's going on there? I've got that guy, at least. And by doing this, we get the gems warped straight to us, because Sparks aren't going to make it. He's moving there to grab the gems, even with his extended reach. But yeah, as I said, we're like with Sheila, as well as uh, so uh, Sergeant Bird, the character like specific levels are more of like just a training area for you to get to grips with their controls, while making a decent level at Come on. Throw it at me. You're not even aiming at me! By the way, the music for this, uh, for Bentley's, I actually can't like a bit. Bow, bow. I can't actually hear it that well at the moment. I've got it turned down because I don't want echo going from the microphone via the TV, so... Yeah, but trust me when I say that this is one of my favourite tunes of the game. And it actually doesn't sound too bad in the Reunite version either. It actually sounds kind of... More modern, but on point as well. It's not MIDI. But obviously, it's not going to be MIDI, but you know what I mean. Another gong. Great. I bet we can cross an avalanche with this one. Do you really want to do that, though? Oh, he's going for it. Hip -hip -hip -hip. It's amazing that how that doesn't actually, you know, smash the snowball itself. And, yeah, that, that makes sense. A snowball out of nowhere, and it just somehow makes a snow mound. A little ramp for us to climb up. Makes sense to me. I'm going this way first. I'm not following the normal path. You've got a torch. Why are you not melting these while you're stuck in the middle of three of them? Just saying. It's just snow. Shouldn't be that big of a problem, surely. But yeah, if you notice, we're actually looping back on ourselves right now. This is so we can actually smack that one jar that we saw. And of course, some of the gems had to fall down, so we're going to have to walk all the way back around. But there was a 25 there, so it's definitely worth. Smack that bunny rabbit. <laughs> it's funny when you spin on the spot with uh, Bentley, because he doesn't actually move his feet. Look at this. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> that doesn't happen in the original, but he is actually a lot more harder to move around in the original. So I do actually appreciate how more um, smooth he moves here. Unless you turn too quick, then you just spin on the spot. But if you just press like the square button or something, you do actually move, turn around a little bit slower. And you deflect, you basically your shield. It's, yeah, the deflection is basically your shield. So it works as well. So yeah, we're going to move this box. And you're not supposed to shove it off a cliff, but I'm guessing that's what our truth uh, skill point is. A stinking Rhinoc has blocked the way with this box. It shouldn't be any problem for you to push it out of the way, though. It's funny that we can't smash it, really, isn't it? But it's a bit too big for that. Um, when I meant uh, uh, skill point, I meant trophy, but it's actually a skill point. I thought it was a trophy, but I blanked out for a moment. It's, it's on the PS4, I assume, trophies before skill points, because they're built into the game. Please don't tell me you're Charlie Sheen. Winning. I don't know, that was the first thing I thought of with Charlie. I, don't, I always have to like make some sort of a joke when it comes to these di uh, dinosaur? Dragon names, I don't know why. I didn't actually do that that often in a Spiral 1. It must be a thing that I'm just doing now, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I like Two and a Half Men, and I was actually quite uh, fond of um, anger management, but anger management just kind of went, and once uh, Charlie Sheen left uh, Two and a Half Men, that series still had a few good episodes with the new guy, I forget what his name is, but like the one with the, they did all that musical with Broadway when he was trying to like get his, um, trying to get his girlfriend back, but it didn't work out or something, and th th that musical episode was actually one of the best ones in my opinion, but yeah, it's, once Charlie Sheen left it pretty much just went down, Ill. and not only that, but the kid left as well and we had someone else instead to fill the role. Like some other uh, person, I forget. <laughs> like I said, I don't remember a lot about the later episodes of two or seasons of Two and a Half Men, but mostly when it was for Charlie Sheen, that's what made it. I'm not saying that the other people were bad or anything, it's just that the, the storyline had to be changed to accommodate it, but they made the most of it, so. 
which I do commend them for. But the way they ended it, I mean, that was pretty bad. Still miss um, anger management. Though. I would have actually liked to see that end. I don't even, I don't even remember if there was an ending to it. It just kind of, yeah, ended. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about this of all things. Maybe it's because I'm at the end of the level and I don't have much else to talk about at this level because it's quite short. And most of the Bentley sections are actually quite short because you don't have a lot of good moving speed and there's not really much Bentley can do. So it's mostly just smashing stuff. With your big old ice club. I think it used to be a massive crystal last time, but here it is just a sculptured piece of ice that never seems to melt. Totem destruction! It was a trophy. I got the skill point and the trophy confused. Thanks, bro. Here's a little something for your rock collection. Eric! You've been holding a dragon hostage! You should pay more attention, considering you have a phone. And he's off. And yet we're not allowed to go home. <laughs> Thanks, bro! Just give me an egg for Spyro and then just lock your big bro out that just helped you get home or something. He's turned lights. But yeah, we're too busy, so it's, it's fine, it's fine. Let's just smash this, grab these gems. And we're done. Should have done that first. My bad. Not a big problem. It's just a couple more hops back and I actually moved that box while hopping onto it. I didn't think I could do that. But yeah, that's it. That's Bentley's level done already. Wahey! At least that he has a bit of an idle animation in his... A little bit of movement in his drop animation, excuse me. So that doesn't look as janky when Sheila does it. Because she's just like... She just moves off like it's unfinished. <laughs> I don't know why I keep bringing that up, but... That was so weird. It should just, as soon as you hit the portal, it should just fade to black and have this transition. It shouldn't actually have them like, going off in the distance, unless it's deloading stuff while that happens. I don't know. Maybe that's for optimization of the PS4 and Xbox One. I don't know. D you look like a demon there. You see his eyes. Whoa. That lighting was weird. Freaking hell. That spooked me a bit. We had that before in Spyro 2, but uh, it reignited, but I wasn't expecting it. But yeah, we're actually done in uh, this area for now. I guess we'll just go see what Bentley's been doing. Yeah, he swivels on the spot again. I believe the denizens of this land plan to create a rocket propulsion device of some kind in order to help you with your journey. I'll try to be of some assistance, but I'm afraid you'll still need a representative from each world in order to complete the device. <laughs> Thanks for being a monster for Monsters, Inc. <laughs> I don't know why he did that. He was like, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, we, it doesn't really explain why we need a denizen from every world in Evening Link. But yeah, keep what I said under your hat. Uh, that What we just did, Bentley's level, we're going back to Midday Gardens, by the way. Because if you remember when we did... Uh, um, oh, what's his name? Buzz. We had to go back to Sunrise Spring in order to... Uh, do a level with sparks, if you remember. Since we've beaten the boss of that hub world, so, uh, Midday Gardens, Zoe will now be there with a mission for sparks. And that's what we're going to do now. But as I was, what I was originally going to say before I got sidetracked and actually talked about why we're going back to Midday Gardens, is that, as I said at the beginning of this video, in Evening Lake, we've already done Bentley's Outpost. So... That's already one level. The speedway doesn't count, although we still need to do the speedway before we do at least four of the five main levels to get the rocket working. But they're all still hanging around because that's, uh... Where do they go? Did the game forget... Did the game just load in their models until I hopped off and then de-render their models when I passed by? Are you kidding me? What is with this game? <laughs> I swear, I, none of this happens in the original. Only in the remake. And it hurts me to keep saying that because this is this looks really well done. Look at it. It still runs smooth enough. Yes, it's not a stable 30 frames. If you turn off the motion blur, it looks a little bit jumpy. But and the camera wasn't following me again there. Oh my lord. As soon as I try to like, you know, soften the blow, you just do that with the camera again. In the same hub world that I had that problem with in a couple of episodes ago. Why? I can't talk good about this, can I? I really want to. It's good. It looks nice. It plays okay. There's just a few things that annoy me and they keep happening. Hi Spyro. Hi Sparks. I've located another lost egg. If Sparks is up to it, he can try to rescue it from Spider Town. Spider Town? Don't tell me Dr. Smith lives there. Well, 
we're doing another Spyro, uh, Spyro, Sparks mission. And if you remember last time, we unlocked an ability. There's a thing about this one when it comes to the Reunited Trilogy. Thankfully, we don't have to do the uh, tutorial again. That's fine enough. This is a lot more maze-like, by the way. I get more Zelda vibes with these walls. Got a key already, and ouch. Maybe I should strafe. Yeah, we're now fighting the bugs of, uh, what are they called? The, uh... Oh, what are they called? The Draglets, that's it. The Draglets of, um... Crystal Glacier of Spyro 2, if you remember. As well, they also appeared in uh, the first um, Speedway for our, um, of Spyro 3, I think, actually. They appeared in the Speedway that we had a flame in, because they had those uh, radioactive symbols on their backs. These ones are quite similar to that, or they're smaller versions. We, so look, they've got the radiation symbol on their back. I just keep forgetting their name. And they keep spawning from these little uh, cactus flowers, so we're just going to take them out. I need to use my special for now. Yeah, but what I was saying was, in the reignited... Oh, shoot. Uh, let's just give it a spread. Spread. There we are. Cool. Yeah. In the reignited version, Sparks' upgrades that he gets from doing his levels are a little bit hit and miss. I forget what that ability is. Oh, it's invincibility. That's helpful. Um, yeah, they're a bit hit and... They're, they're a bit uh, hit and miss when it comes to the reignited trilogy. Of course, in the original... They're well worth your time. If you're playing the Ring Eye version, feel free to leave this level quite late. But if you're playing the original, it's definitely worth your time. Because um, it will make your gem grabbing days easier. Even easier than they are right now. But if you're in the Ring Eye version, you may not benefit a lot from actually doing this level. Other than getting another 200 gems and a single egg. Obviously, I'm doing it because I want to do 100% confusion. I actually like these levels. And these levels are pretty much untouched from their... Um, from their PS1 original counterpart, so that's cool. But yeah, still, the snafus that I keep bumping into in just normal gameplay when I... D and it's when I'm talking good about the remake as well, it starts to break on me. I don't know why. It's not like I'm doing it on purpose. It just happens. Seriously, yeah. Still, the last... In the last episode, the, 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 the whale. Why was that so bad? That's too bothering me. <laughs> and, again, that's when I was like... Talking about... Ugh, I don't know. It's weird, man. It's weird. It's... I mean, that's not the key to that door. What do you do? Yeah, you look like a power-up, but yeah, you just renewed my thing, so I can't get through here. Yeah, that's a problem. You get keys, but it's not exactly clear on where you got to go, and I was kind of pinched it in there. Ouchies. I'm still on the edge of getting hit by that. That's health, isn't it? Yeah, that's health. Oh, and then I just take a hit. Wow, what am I doing? I'm rushing now because I'm not paying attention. Hit that button. And that means... Wait. Okay. This means that that is now free. And I was holding the X button. Why was I not shooting? Excuse me? What was that? Oh, okay. I thought I'd blow it up. But my power-up ran out instead. And it needed one more shot anyway. Wow. And again, as soon as I say that, um, that I want to talk good about the game, another thing breaks. I just said that these were the most stable. That was pretty much my fault. I was rushing. I'm just taking the piss at this point. <laughs> Just because of how, you know, perfectly timed any of that was. Give me that. Yeah, boosh. Yeah, that did it. Oh, I can't go that way. I thought I could squeeze past. At least the rockets have, like, a penetrative effect. Which is nice. So that key is for this door over here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh. Ah, didn't shoot him right. Let's, uh, boop. Thing is, I've only got these rockets, so I'm just trying to play it safe, but I don't I don't really have enough time to strafe. There we are, got that one. Alright, let's uh, snipe it that way. And those, uh, wow, those rockets split up perfectly. There we are, now I can do this. There we are. I will admit, I'm going through these a little bit faster than I normally do. I normally go through a little bit more methodically. So that's probably why I'm messing up a little bit more. I guess I'm just trying to test myself to see how fast I can do these. That buttons, that means I should now be able to take out the box down here. Got the key, so I can also go through the gate down here. Uh, I keep pressing charge when I mean to shoot. Why do I keep doing that? Shoots the normal shoot button, charges the normal charge button. I shouldn't be getting the fuse here. There we are. Let's get down this way. I know I haven't actually mentioned why 
Um, you may saying that you may want to leave this Sparks level for later in the Reignited version instead of the original, whereas in the original you want to do it as early as possible because of the power up. And the reason why I haven't actually put that off is because I've been putting that off because I, I want Zoe to attempt to explain why. Because I feel like that, that would be the better part of Valor. But if you are playing the original, please do this as early as possible. It's definitely worth your time. And even if so, you might want to do it anyway because you want to get 100% and you may like this gameplay. That's what I'm trying to say. And I should be at the boss right now. Yeah, I am. Look at the size of this draglet! What the hell? Okay, that's bad. Uh, ah, I couldn't get out of that. That's a problem. That did not touch me. Okay, this is bad. I, there's actually no health. There's no fodder in this area. That's a problem. But I'm holding circle. Why was I not firing? That was weird. Get out of there. Oh god, I didn't realise he was above me. That actually kind of sucks. Yeah, when he's spinning, he deflects shots, so you got to really take out his babies when you're waiting. Don't worry, though, your, sh your own shots cannot hurt you, so don't worry about that. I've got all the gems while waiting for this guy to be vulnerable. Problem is, there's no easy way to actually fight this guy, because when he stops spinning, he spawns his babies. Are you goddamn serious? I almost got pincered there. Because you got to take out his babies to stop him from spinning, but as soon as he does stop spinning, he spawns more babies, which can eat up the shots that you need to land hits on him for. So unless you contained one of like the spread shot power up, like the uh, the wave shot power up, I guess you I would call it. You're not really gonna have an easy time here, and I'm about to die. I will admit this is definitely one of the harder bosses, just cause you don't have a lot of chance to hit him, and when you do, he spits out more babies, and this is a bad spot for me. Wish I had a power up. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Yeah, good. He's almost dead, but so am I. It's literally neck and neck, and he's gone. Thankfully, when you take out the big dude, the other dies go toodly pipsky. Work it in there somewhere. And with all that shenanigans, Web be gone. We got our trophy, we got our egg, we got the 200 gems, we are done in this level. And all we gotta do now is go to Bamboo Terrace, clear that out, because we remember. We need a Bentley there, so let's leave and claim our power-up. So what power-up are we in this time? Um, you're not going to talk to me. I can't even talk to you. This is not a glitch, even though I feel like it is in the Reunited Trilogy, there's actually a reason why. In the original, Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon for PS1, PlayStation Network, PSP, PS Vita, or whatever, because they're all the PS Network versions. The original version of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, any version on PS1. When you beat Spider Town and get the egg and leave, Sparks gains... The treasure finder ability. You know, clicking in the, well, in the Reunite version, the thing that we've had since the start of Spyro 1 that did not exist in Spyro 1, and it was a cheat code in Spyro 2 that you, or a cheat code in Spyro 3 to get it early, but which I'll talk about later, but immediately available in Spyro 2, but in the remake, the entire Reunite trilogy, you already had that ability. So, that's why Sparks keeps uh, spinning around and the uh, HUD keeps coming down, because I keep pressing L3, which in the original, you press all of the shoulder buttons and Sparks would point to the nearest gem. Excellent work, Sparks. And I see that you've gained another new ability. Now, if you hold down the L1, L2, R1, and R2 buttons at the same time, Sparks will point to any treasure still hanging around. In the Reignited Trilogy, beating Sp uh, Spider Town gives you bugger all. Except for the, the stuff you get in the level, of course. You don't get any explanation. I feel like that Zoe should at least tell you how to use the treasure finder because there is no tutorial to actually tell you how to do that. And you normally get that tutorial 
when you get the ability from Zoe after beating Spider Town in Spyro 3. Yeah, Zoe doesn't tell you, and the one time that you would think, oh, wait a minute, it'll may it could at least let you know that you have the ability if you never went into the move list, but no, nope, the game doesn't tell you. In this particular case, that's a line of dialogue you never hear Zoe say in the Reunited Trilogy, and I have no idea why. And I feel like that's more of a glitch than anything else because the game, you already have the ability. I feel like she should at least tell you the ability and act like you've got the ability because if people don't know when they're playing the Reunited Trilogy that you have it since Spyro 1, then you could think, oh wait, that means it's unlocked it in all three games, so now I can use it to get all the gems I missed. And that would have been a nice little thing. Yes, it's a tutorial later on, but that's where you get it in Spyro 2, Spyro 3 even. So using it in Spyro 2 and 1 would make more sense that way because even though you start with it in Spyro 2, you're not told about it! So... You're just left hanging in Spyro in the Reunited Trilogy. Unless you check the instructions yourself. Not a single dragon makes mention of it either, if you remember. I'm pretty sure, actually, if I'm remembering that correctly, but yeah. It's never mentioned. Even in, in the originals, exist in Spyro 2, never told you. You unlock it in Spyro 3, even though you already had it at start in Spyro 2. I don't get it. Ah, a fine day for a bit of a walk. I was just heading to the top of my favourite hill. All the way in Bamboo Terrace. It's quite warm here, and you brought your brother with you as well. Hey, I think I saw some Rhinox run up to the top of that hill with an egg. Well, we want to go get that then, don't we? And if this is our favourite hill, might as well take a walk. Whoa, smacking some Rhinox for good measure, because why the hell not? There's a bunch of gems here. There's obviously the one egg that we need to go get. This is what we're here for, and we're going to squeeze this in at the end of this episode, because why the hell not? We're Bentley, and this means that we'll also be able to finish off... The entirety of Midday Guns. I thought I did the first swing. I just got Han Solo. Get it? Because people think the other guy should have shot first. That's that's the thing. That's the old joke. If no one knows. Why do I have to keep explaining jokes? Or references? I don't know. I guess that's just me. Anyway, can I smash this? It looks like I can smash it. BAP! Nice. Yeah, because some of the big Rhinox around here, as you can see by that one up there with that Brelly, they can push these, uh panda heads. So, you want to watch out for that. Hang on a second. Oh yeah, that was a uh, head on there, I think. So, Obviously, our jump is not exactly the best, so we can't marry our way up here, so all we got to do is just... I did press the attack button. Thanks for that. Oh, that one. Wait, what? <laughs> well, I've got no health. This is great. I'm actually going to die as Bentley. So I'm gonna run back and go get that uh, fodder that's just over there. Hopefully I won't get squished from behind. Thankfully they smash at the door so they won't follow you past the actual area that you're climbing up. So let me go get this fodder quick. Can I kill him with this? Yeah I can actually. That's cool. Oh no, it just bounced him away. It looks like it would do, but I guess that's just deflecting, so whatever. Uh, it's a shame there's no more... Uh, there's no more stuff around here. Can I deflect these? Yeah, I can. Not TNT, though. That's just an immediate hit. Even if you block that, the explosion will get you. So let's wait for the TNT to get out of the way. Right, now let's start moving. Block it. What? That? Oh, it must have got broken by the door frame. That time I smashed it. That's what I tried to do before, but it didn't want to work. Cheeky. Right, let's smash you quick. And he got me. Dang it. Well, finally made it past. Tried to hit him, and I got hit myself. So that's a hit. Let me get back up to that point. Man, it's been a while since I've, I've... I've only seen this once, and that was in this very level, funnily enough. I just realised! I died in the same level that I lost my first life in! And why are you talking to me again? Seriously. Don't need that. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, seriously! I pressed attack before it even reached in front... Oh, Jesus. Well, I couldn't do anything about that. That was fair. Let him swing first. Then hit him. Yeah, that's the, what I was about to say, but... I got squished again, even though I did press the attack button before it even reached my face. There we are, that's better. And he's actually coming toward me, what the hell? It's a bit risky, isn't it, boy? You should be keeping your post. Literally, you got four of them here. Oh no, maybe he was in the left corner. Actually, I just, I just realised I made that joke. I, again, I swung, again, I, mm, wow, really? don't remember having a lot of trouble doing... I remember having no trouble at all doing certain things, and yet I'm having a lot of trouble doing them now. I don't know if Bentley's got weird reach. I mean, when you swing it, doesn't look like I have a lot of reach, because he kind of, like... 
leans into it. I mean, he's holding his club for the middle, I guess. Oh, I don't have sparks either. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to go backwards. Let me kick this guy first. Problem is, I have to kill him all again because there's no checkpoints in this part. Would you swing? Thank you. Right, let me bash all this out of the way. I can actually reach that guy now. So I'll go do that. Actually, I think I'm at the top, so I might be fine if I just take my time here. BAP! Breakfast BAP! Right, I'll go grab these myself. Thankfully we're huge, so that's not actually that big of a problem. I just don't want to walk off the edge by accident here. That's the middle room. Nothing here. Okay, we still have stuff, but we can walk up this bit instead, so that's cool. In fact, there's a one up here, so that's a full recovery, plus an extra life. So that's nice. Yeah, I still can't believe I died twice in the same level. One as Spyro, one as Spark. One because it was a stupid jump, and one because I... Okay, I did get duped out, but the initial damage I shouldn't have avoided because I keep swinging my club and it wasn't working. I'm pretty sure that you could... I wasn't doing it too late. He's not launching any more stuff. I'm pretty sure you can hop up here. There we go. And we have Sparks now at full health, so that's very helpful. I'm glad I actually had that one up to go get, so I did not go out in the beginning and just get one hit again. Get all this. We'll get the egg in a minute. In fact, we could just ignore that guy and get the egg now, but he holds a gem for us, so we need to whack him. There we are. And I don't have all the gems, but I might have them all in this area, because this is quite a simple area. I had to walk all the way around that egg for it to actually trigger me picking it up. You should just touch the egg and it should just trigger, not start and do in a certain direction in front of it. That was a bit weird, but got it anyway, so that's all the eggs at least. Uh, let's click in with the pointer that we should have unlocked at this point, funnily enough. And it looks like Sparks is pointing to leave, I believe? Leave, I believe. That's a rhyme. How'd I miss you? There we are. Absolutely demolish that guy. You telling me to leave? You telling me to leave. Hey, I think I saw some Rhinox run up to the top of that hill with an egg. <laughs> Whoa, whoa! Where'd he go? I only talked to him because I thought he would say something different now I have the egg. But he said the same thing at the start and now he's gone. Wait. Am I supposed to talk to him first before getting the egg and then once I've gotten the egg he would disappear but because I didn't talk to him after respawning because I died... Then I talk to him, and then he disappears? He should just disappear anyway, because I've already got the egg. So, that flag wasn't properly set. Another goddamn glitch! Seriously, it's, it is small, little things, but they... These snafus keep happening! Why? Okay, why did I miss these goddamn gems? I'm really annoyed right now. I'm triggered. I'm absolutely tilted. Where are you pointing? Why do I get the feeling that you're... Are we supposed to swim in this water? We are supposed to swim in this water. I could not see these. I was pretty sure that you weren't supposed to swim here. Because you would just go over the edge. But no, that was actually quite craftily placed. Touche game, touche. I avoided the water. Because I thought that I would just get washed away. I think I might always make that mistake. But again, I probably would have also noticed the gems underneath if I could see them. I didn't see any of them. And we've been across that, those two jumps, many a time. Why did my hover not go off? That was more than half a second. Well, just enough time to do the hover. I mean, I don't need to do the hover. Unless the pseudo hover messes me up, which is only a reignited thing. Fair enough. Let me get out of here again. There we go. Okay, so now we are done with this level. It didn't matter if I missed them anyway. We had to come back regardless for Bentley, but still, why? Again... I didn't need to talk to the guy. If I walked through the door, that wouldn't have been an issue. But I just happened to talk to him because I wanted to know if he said anything different. Said the same thing, but then something different happened anyway and it was a bug. <laughs> In an episode where I was literally shooting bugs. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sparks, we know. We, we, that's where I'm talking about you. Oh, God. Why? This is ridiculous at this point. I'm bumming into a problem every episode. And it's either me... Or it's the game, or it's the game and me. <laughs> and it's mostly the game. In the next episode, guys, we're going to go back to Evening Lake. And we'll decide what level we will tackle next. See you guys then.